fellas. Lions Bolters 2021. Maliki, who are we thinking? God, give a shout out to the Irish boys. Got two in mind. One is, one's Kevin Doris. I think he's got concussion, some concussion thing at the moment. So apparently he's going to be out for quite a while. But I think if he can get back in time, he's definitely going to be an option for the Lions. And then also Hugh and Keenan. I think there's not much other players at fullback. Obviously, Stuart Hogwood's going to be the main fullback. But other than him, there aren't many other fullbacks really in my mind that could play it. And Hugo Keenan's been pretty dank. Apart from, um, from Stuart Hogg? Yeah, I, I guess Stuart Hogg, man. I <laughs> so dumb. So yeah, I think him, him and I think I think both of them are going to make the Lions. So they're my two bolters. Interesting. Maxon, Maxon, who who are your bolters? Bolters. Well, my first bolter, um, which would be if he comes back from injury, would be um, Jack Willis. Um, let's hope we can see him coming back from injury, but his injury looks really, really serious. Um, so I doubt he'll be back in time for the Lions tour, but we all know what he can do even when playing for England, like his turnovers, game at the the breakdown, which unfortunately got him injured. Um, it's been really, really impressive. Um, so I would say Jack Willis. Um, the other one being an England player is also uh, Ben Earl, um, who I think could very possibly be a Lions at Bolter. don't know whether you class him as a Bolter, Ed. Um, but I think he brings something different to to what a lot of the like mainstream flankers might might bring that you'd, you'd potentially want to see being set for the Lions. Um, he's got some serious pace. He's got great hands and he's really versatile. Um, so I definitely think he could bring something to the Lions squad um, that a lot of other potential flankers couldn't. Uh, I don't think he'd be a four, four running player. He'll probably just play like some tests. Yeah. Uh, well, not some tests, I think, but like some... I think, the, I think the back row is definitely the most competitive position for the yeah. Lions by far. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would agree. I've got, I've got a few in mind, actually. I've got two fly halves that I think are definitely on the way that they're playing both in premiership and for country, one of them one of them for country. Um, so the first one doesn't play international at the moment. His his name is Marcus Smith. Um, <laughs> so when, when you're thinking <laughs> He's about the tenth choice Lions ten. <laughs> when when you're thinking when you're thinking about about Lions bolters, you're thinking about people who like a well outside, you know, uh, Mal, Mal and I were talking about this earlier. There's a guy called John Bentley who played for the Lions on the 1997 tour uh, of South Africa. And he played, I think he, he only played about once for England and he was a rugby league convert and only played four times for England in, in rugby league internationally. So that's, I think, what we mean more by bold to someone that's like not really on the international scene, has played a lot of premiership rugby um, and isn't really necessarily involved in the scene but has the quality and has the talent to like stand up and a be a good part of the tour which is apparently what John Bentley was like he was a really good person to have on the tour personality good banter got on with everyone apparently and I think Marcus Smith probably has that he's young he's impressionable it'd be a great experience for him to go on that tour even if he didn't play a test I think someone like him you know and he's 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 absolute quality and the other person judging by the way that he, he played it in, in the England match is possibly Callum Sheedy, you know, with that amount of composure against England, what more could you want from someone on the Lions tour than someone who can slot into an international scene that quickly and, and quite comfortably in such a big match against England? I think that, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that they're going to go on the Lions tour. I'm just saying they're possible considerations for fly half. Obviously, you've got your Owen Fowles, your Johnny Sexton's, your Finn Russell's, your Dan Biggers, who are probably your top four because they're starting for the for the nations at the moment. But I just yeah, think how, how many, how many are they the top? going to bring? I think you normally take like four, I think. But like to be honest, I, I don't even think Dan Bigger is a show in or Johnny Sexton. Yeah, because but that's I, my I, that's my point. It's it, yeah. it's like you I know, you, if, if you're gonna go it. if you're gonna go with someone some something different, you know, it was like. Ben Teo hadn't really played that much for England and still stepped up and played Test on the Lions tour. Like someone like that who's playing really well for club and has kind of started to prove themselves in a in a club basis and possibly like also you're thinking about like Joe Simmons and Sam Simmons who we've already spoken about. Like they're seriously good players, serious serious quality, just not being selected for England for who knows what reason. Um, is going through Eddie Jones's mind. Maybe they're a little more certain than someone like Marcus Smith or Callum Sheedy. But at the same time, you know, 
if you're looking for something different for someone who would be good on the tours for someone who you know would needs a bit of exposure really yeah but I feel like when they're selecting a Lions squad they're not like who want who needs this opportunity right like I think Joe Simmons would be I'd rather have Joe Simmons in a test against South Africa than Marcus Smith 100% like imagine like because uh, he's playing against like what Andre Pollard versus Mark Smith, really. I feel like Joe Simmons would much be be better off. Imagine fucking Damien De and a like Jesse Creel, Lacanio Am running. Mark Smith defensively is actually all right to be fair. Um, he's been quite good, but like in a test situation, I don't know. Like imagine if you actually had to call upon like I'd I'd be nervous. But Not compared to there, like, though, skip it. It doesn't need to be. Doesn't matter how big they are. You just step. <laughs> Just step but also, you're thinking, leg, you're thinking probably. about you're thinking about young players as well because usually these these bolters, so to say, are, are, are usually young players that have have kind of only just sprung onto the onto the club scene. And this is where Martin Johnson, Will Greenwood, this is where they came into the picture. Like Martin Johnson had played like once or twice for England and then was selected for the Lions tour in I think it was '93. So. It, it's it's so interesting and Will Greenwood's another one of them as well like people not many people know Will Greenwood was actually like a a very experienced player for that 2003 World Cup he he was about 33 odd I think maybe 30 32 so it's kind of interesting hearing about those players that started off their careers so young um on on a Lions tour so when you're thinking about players like that I think the likes of Marcus Smith and even someone like Alex Dombrand who are playing so well are definitely like not out. I'm, I'm not saying they're in the picture. Alex Dombran is so far out the selection picture for Lions. I'm not saying he's out. He's he's not out the picture though, is he? He's Hayden not. Dodd, CJ Stander, Billy Vanapola, Tulupe Falatao, four amongst them. Tom Curry can play eight. Like so many. He's never, he's not even getting close, mate. He's not even getting close. I'm just saying. I'm just <laughs> saying. The, they, the biggest Quinn bias I've ever seen ever. <laughs> let's put Chris. Let's get Chris Robshaw back in the scene, mate. Let's bring <laughs> him back. Bring him back. Let's get him there. <laughs> Mike Brown. He's a he's a bolter. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying that combination of youth, like and 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 skill and quality, oh, yes, it, it can be enough to get you on a Lions tour. And then if they play well on the Lions tour, use as their like call for England as well. So. Yeah. I'm just, no. I'm just I mean, saying. I, I, I still have youth though, like Tom Curry and Sam Underhill are like still really young. Oh come off it, mate! They're dead certs though. Like <laughs> they are shooing, so then they're, they're not. Bol- we're talking about bolters here. We're talking about people that possibly like have an outside chance of getting on the tour, but you know they're obviously people that have so much more of a chance. But when you're talking about bolters, it's it's that lack of chance, and then they suddenly get chosen in the squad, like John Bentley. I know. <laughs> like, Shut like, up, man, John <laughs> <laughs> right. Go look him up. Go look him up because he scored a sixty meter try against the Cheaters and it was mental. And like he only he played two tests for the Lions and he plays like six matches for England in combined league and union. That's it. That's all he played. Well, nice, John, ba- nice John Bentley, man. if you're listening, you're always more than welcome on the pod. We're my massive fans. <laughs> <laughs> No, to be fair, I'm only gassing him up because I did see a, a long video of, on him the other day and on, on the Lions Facebook page, and it was actually really interesting. Um, but no, I don't, I don't think I don't think you can necessarily discard a, a bunch of like really good players just because yeah. they're not playing on an international scene yet. That's the whole point of a Lions bolter. Yeah. Like so they're, they're playing in form, they're in, in, yeah, in yeah. good form, but they're just and, not. And you know, we're looking natural. we're looking at people like Louis Rousamit now, and and I think lots of people now would have him down for a Lions shirt. But the thing is, I wouldn't I don't think I would. Would, still. would would you necessarily cast him as a bolter or Duhan van der Moer? Would you cast them as bolters? No, no. They're just a stamp. They're just established on the international scene already. Yeah, like, but Louis Sam has only got like five caps or something. So how? So is... I don't. I don't think Louis Sam is. I, I still don't think he'll be in the Lions squad. Mm. It depends. It depends he's how. He's won two games. Uh-huh. Like he's never had a. He's never had a standout performance against the Southern Hemisphere team. Yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't matter because if he's he like, played a Southern Hemisphere team, he, he, <laughs> yeah, he they has. might. They might. They might take him on a. They might take him on tour. And just play him against like some random like one of the like sharks or whatever. Or bull, already, one yeah, of yeah. I mean, he's already played South African teams to be fair, in in, in Pro Fourteen. So 
Mm. What about Sean Maitland? He's been on a Lions tour before. George North. Oh, <laughs> would George would George North count as a bolter? He's he's out of the picture to be fair, but you know he's he's what? toured before. No, George, twice. Uh, George North is definitely making it. I'd say. Yeah. Is he? Do you think Gatlin will take him? Definitely. Oh my gosh, guys! I think I think we got to do a, a, another episode on on our, our Lions squad selection. Lions that would selection. be that would be ridiculously yeah. difficult, honestly. Definitely. Marcus Smith and Alex Don Brown are going in mine, and that's all I'm saying. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> on that. It's so dumb. Rugby.